I've been using Topo Athletic TerraVenture 3s for over 220 miles, and today I'm ready to give my initial review. Now this was a complete shoe brand change for me made this year based on subscriber recommendations. Now first off though, why did I switch and what did I switch from? So for the past five years, I've used a variety of outer shoes, including the Lone Peak 3.5s, the 4s, the 4.5s, the Temp 1.5s, and even completed a 2200 mile through hike, mostly in the Ultra Olympus 3s. I've had no problems with comfort and the shoes fit great, but my biggest gripe has been Altra's durability and customer service over the years. At some point of my through hike, I was barely getting 200 miles out of a pair of $180 shoes, and the Altra warranty didn't always cover their supposed 300 to 500 mile guarantee as it was considered normal wear and tear. In comes the Topo Athletic TerraVenture 3s. Now these shoes have a three millimeter drop with a stack height of 25 millimeter in the heel and 22 millimeters in the forefoot. Coming from a zero drop shoe in the Ultra Lone Peaks, it was a very minor adjustment for me. And I also noticed I'm less of a heel striker in the Terra Ventures. The three millimeter drop, I can also say keep my calves a little happier starting out cold. Now these shoes have a similar toe box as outer footwear, which is a big necessity for me as my little toe always felt cramped in a normal pair of shoes. It has a Vibram rubber sole with decent lugs that grip well in mud, snow, and both wet and dry rocks. However, in my experience, it has a bad traction problem with wet planks of wood that you'd expect to find on trail bridges and bog boards. Now the upper is made up of a very nice mesh that keeps sand and other debris out while allowing water to pass through. The dry time on the Terra Ventures is surprisingly a little quicker versus the Lone Peak 4.5s, which I was pleasantly surprised about. Which in looking at the extra cushion in the heel, you'd think it'd be the complete opposite. Speaking of which, there's more cushion in the Terra Ventures than the Lone Peak 4.5s. In fact, I'd say the sole cushion lies somewhere between the Lone Peaks and the temp models from Altra. If you're specifically looking for some extra cushion, Topo Athletic Ultra Ventures are also an option. Now, my dad has been using those for the past 30 miles with no issues as he slowly gets into backpacking preparing for our Grand Canyon trip in October. Now, like I said, I have over 200 miles on this pair and they feel like new. I just got back from a 70 mile through hike of a local trail near me called the Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail, which has a decent amount of rocky terrain. Now I wanted to do a longer stretch in these shoes before this review because sometimes foot or tendon problems don't show up on low mileage overnight trips. And on this latest trip, I had absolutely no problems at all, even doing a steady 20 miles a day for the first three days and then a quick 14 out. The rock plate that's in this shoe's sole helped reduce the feel of walking on pointy rocks while still letting me feel the trail, and I believe it's very well balanced. The stock insole has a bit of an arch support that flat footers may find annoying, and people with high arches may find lacking. For me, the stock insoles almost work perfectly, but I ultimately ended up switching them out for my trusty Superbeat Trailblazer insoles due to some falling arch pain that's pretty typical of me for any shoe that I try on. Now, the only cons for me with this shoe compared to the Altra brand is that Topo Athletics have this proprietary gator attachment system. Uh, these gators are heavier and from the looks of it, more cumbersome than something simple like Dirty Girl gators, which I've been using for years. Now this can always be solved by just gluing some Velcro directly to the back of the shoe, which I was doing before I got into Altra's, but it would be really nice if Topo Athletics would just include that in the shoe like Altra does. Now the toe cap did start separating at about 200 mile mark and it's barely separating, which is about 180 more miles in my experience with Altra's, so all good there, not an issue. I don't know why manufacturers just don't stitch through the front of these things to stop this from happening, but I can live with it and maybe this will be addressed in an updated model, who knows. Uh, I did add lock laces to my shoes, which is a simple piece of shock cord and a cord lock because I absolutely hate retying my shoes while I'm hiking. Uh, but the stock laces on these things are flat uh, and they did a, a good job and they hold well. I just wanted to try lock laces. Now, shoe recommendations are extremely hard to give because everyone's feet are different and you should always take random advice from experiences like mine with a grain of salt. However, all in all, I'm very confident in giving my recommendation to you for the Topo Athletic footwear. 
especially if you're coming from an ultra long peak. I've had a surprisingly great experience with these shoes and they're holding up great. Compared to my Lone Peak 4.5s from Altra with around the same mileage, uh, you can see that the upper part of the shoe is starting to separate from the sole, which has been a common occurrence for me with Altra shoes. Oh, and another pro I forgot to mention is that there is no mud flap on the Topos like you see on Altras. I absolutely hated this feature when Altra introduced it as it would just constantly flip mud and debris to the back of my calf. Now, when my, uh, on my through hike of the AT, some of the hikers I was around would actually take a pair of scissors and just cut this off uh, because the flap was so annoying for them. So please, Topo Athletics, just keep your shoes simple. Hikers don't want or need any of these extra bells and whistles, but I wouldn't mind that little Velcro attachment in the back. Now, in closing, this shoe is definitely worth a try, guys. Now, but I do wanna mention that the TerraVenture 4s are expected sometime in June and the cost should be around $130. So at this point, you may wanna just wait uh, as the update apparently switches to a little bit better of a foam cushion for a very, very minuscule amount of added weight. So if you have any questions about the shoes, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trail.